You're watching Fortified Friday, my name is Ilkka Siren and today we're tasting some Sherry Wines New Year's. Come on, how excited are you? I'm very excited. The year 2012 will be simply epic, one of the biggest years ever, I think, probably, maybe. Anyways, unlike, you know, most people who celebrate New Year's with sparkling wine and other stuff like that, I actually like drinking Sherry. Although it's not sparkling, but it's equally festive. And today we're tasting an Oloroso from Valdez Pino. Valdez Pino is a producer that, that belongs to the Grupo Estevez, quite a big name in, in Jerez. And you know, the Valdez Pino has a long, long history. I mean, the history of, of the whole family, I think you can date that back to, you know, 1200s and something, you know, um, back when, when the Moors were still back there. And I think the, the family actually, the Val, Valdez Pino, I think the name was Adolfo or something. Adolfo Ricardo, I mean, there's two options probably, <laughs> so I take Adolfo. Adolfo Val Valdespino uh, belonged to the knights, uh, Christian knights, who actually fought off uh, the Moors and Smurfs, Smurfs, or whatever you want to call them. And uh, they were rewarded by the king uh, with a piece of land, obviously, from Jerez. And, uh, and the, the history started there, but, you know, in, in the etiquette you can see i don't know if you can see here but it says in the back label it says that it's uh, since 1430 so it started a couple uh, hundred years after uh, that they really established their names and started producing sherry wines but still 1430s i mean it's a old old bugger let's give it a go oloroso is the the mo most robust and then alcoholic and, and biggest style of uh, sherry wines i mean in the beginning when the the winemaker gets the grapes and they, they do the first fermentation or the only fermentation uh, and then even in that point some of the winemakers already know which ones are going to the oloroso just by smelling the the a grape mass that is usually around 11% uh, of alcohol and that goes in, in immediately into the Oloroso Soleras and then starts uh, to be there but also the phenols in some stages the phenol will lose the, the, the floor the yeast thing and then and the winemaker will decide and put an O or a circle in the bar, uh, barrel and which is the signal for that it will go to the uh, Oloroso wine anyways let's uh, give it this a smell Oloroso is uh, more strong than Fino. Fino is usually fortified until 15% of alcohol, but these usually have 18 to 20% of alcohol, and this uh, has 19, so it's usually a bit stronger. And you get this kind of roasted almonds, and not in a bad way, but you get this kind of like this dusty dusty smell, I know it's hard to explain, but this dusty kind of vintage smell, like it actually smells like a cellar of barrels. I don't know if you've ever been to Jerez and been to one of the bodegas, you know, you smell the wine. It's really, it's, 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 I mean, it's in the woods, it's everywhere. The smell is very strong, but it's, it's a very, very nice smell. Let's taste it. It has this kind of viscosity that you don't find in the in the fino sherries. Fino sherries are clean, crisp, very precise. But this has this kind of mo uh, uh, mouthfeel, this kind of roundness, viscosity, and then you can really swirl it in your mouth, and you and you feel the body. It has more body. Let's taste it again. Mm. This is a very very good wine to start. New Year Vintage 2012 will be a great year for fortified wines, I hope. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody and let's keep uh, spreading the word of fortified wines uh, all over the world and, and you can share the clip wherever. Feel free and leave a comment. I would love to talk with you guys. Anyways, have a great, great New Year's party. Don't party too hard, but party enough and then I see you next year. Cheers.